read the script and it was really special. I think it's, um, it's a fantastically written story. Chloe's a very talented writer and I just felt I had to make it, I had to be part of making this film happen. It's about uh, faith, about belief, about choices, strength of character, difference of opinion, um, and the repercussions, I suppose, that, that such strong differences in beliefs can have. And when you're presented with extreme choices, how that can test one's character to the limit. Everyone's really lovely, everyone gets on, and everyone knows how ambitious the project is. And I think we all, we all really want it to work. And I, I'm having so much fun, yeah. We begin the story with, uh, there's been loads of deaths in the village, in the, in the settlement. Um, loads of people are dying and nobody's quite sure why. And um, all they know is that they need to do something about it and they believe that they're being punished by the gods. And so they decide that the, um, to appease the gods they will sacrifice. And um, they sacrifice a goat, but it doesn't work. And they, they feel like they need something stronger, more powerful to sacrifice to the gods. And all eyes turn to the very pregnant Ada. It's a very rare occurrence in their beliefs, but it is considered that a newborn has a kind of power beyond anything else, beyond just an animal or an offering, a votive offering. Um, and so that pressure on her and by turn on her husband Vance to make that decision, to make that offering, becomes the driving conflict of the film. I'm very impressed with the cast and the crew on this production. I think um, there's a version of this shoot that could have been very miserable and very, very bleak and it's been totally the opposite of that. It's been cold, there's been early, early, early cool times. We've been outdoors for five days in the end of winter in England and the spirits of the crew have remained so high the entire time. And everyone just wants to be here working, making the best possible film they can. We got sent the script, um, we took a look at it, thought it was amazing for a short film because no one ever does period pieces for short films because it's ridiculous. Um, and so we were like, yeah, let's do it. It was so fun. It was such hard work. The, the thing is that with, you know, short films, the budget is always an issue, the money. And it's not in London either, which is an amazing thing because the location is incredible. But with this, we had to build it from scratch because that's what they would have done. There was no kind of cutting corners with that. So we just had to do it, basically, which was really fun and super proud of it. But I think the reason that it's turned out as it has is because we did it and we took the time to do it. Like that, that scene on Saturday with all the animals and everything and, and on the budget we had, it's pretty much a miracle. You know what they say, never work with children, never work with animals. Chloe's working with children, animals, <laughs> fire, water in a forest, night, day, all the elements, and in a time period as well, which we don't know much about. It, it's a huge challenge. We've had twin babies. It was meant to be the hardest part of the whole day, having them on set all day, and it was the easiest thing ever. They were just the most angelic babies. A drone, yeah, we had a drone, we had a drone. The drone was fun. Everyone became an eight-year-old boy, including me. <laughs> What's been great about this project is that, you know, it, it is ostensibly a low-budget short film um, and with an immense cast, really, that, that's worthy almost of a feature and the sense of community that has been created in order to get this thing done in a record amount of time, really, it seems to me. She's covering an awful lot of ground in a very, very short amount of time. And it just goes to show what can be done when, when needs must and, and people pull together and, and, uh, and believe in a project in order to make it work. You can just push stuff through. It's been amazing. Stepping into this camp was like stepping into a real community. I remember the, fir the first time I walked in and there was like a kitchen fire and we had a home. Like, this is my home. And... Um, Yes, our fire circle and just all these details that make it so real. It's like, you know, I love working with Chloe and, and she went off and has made this whole amazing thing happen because she wanted to tell the story and 
I felt really privileged that I'd been able to de help develop the character of Ada, and knowing that I would then be playing her because that's quite an unusual thing for an actor to be able to do. Yeah, I mean, she's everything that you want in a director, and she's an actor's director as well. She understands how to work with actors, um, and that's, that's, that's quite a precious thing, to know how to speak to actors in terms of getting what you want from them and getting the performance you want from them without necessarily having to spell it out all the time. It makes for quite an organic process. Um, it's, a, it's a very ambitious project, it's a very ambitious film. It's very rich, but there's a big story to tell. And doing that in such a short space of time, in so few pages with so few scenes, is tough. And in no bad way at all. It's a challenge, and you know that's what we're here for. We're here because it's potentially an amazing story, and uh, it's just about how we tell it in such a condensed amount of time. Um, something that we're all aware of, it's something that Chloe's aware of, it's something the actors are aware of, and. Um, it would be so easy to come and do this all on a similar plane of depression and angst and, uh, you know, hardship and, you know, it'd be very emotionally charged. But I think it's just about keeping the bigger picture in mind. So it's been a very, very interesting experience from that perspective. I think these characters or these types of characters and this period of history is something which isn't often dramatised in in a way which isn't like hugely romantic. So we often on television or in films, we, we, we love the Anglo-Saxons or the kind of medieval vibe because there's something kind of beautiful and romantic about it. But th for me, the grittiness of this and the kind of horror of it has been one of the most exciting things. Fantastic. There's a lot of really talented people in this crew and it's been a real privilege to work with them and um, to work with Chloe. Chloe's fantastically, she has a fantastic clarity and she understands this story and the core and she's brilliant with the actors. She's really like done a great job helming this team and we're really, really excited with what we've achieved here. The cinematographer is Dave Pym and as a, as a person, he's fantastic to work with. He's very professional, he's very clear, but he also has the ability to deal with people and deal with changing circumstances really cool-headedly. And I think he's absolutely the perfect person to, to support Chloe in making this really ambitious film. Um, and the, the work that I've seen is absolutely stunning. I think this is the best, the best shooting experience I've had. And I'm surprised saying that because <laughs> it was tough from a from a production perspective. But I feel really privileged to be to be the producer of this film. And wait, I gotta get a cut away. That is the one weak link in the chain, I suppose, Chloe. So, we're running, we're really running really so behind. behind. Yeah, we've got to go. Rich is terrible. Ella, Ella literally is can't act. Yeah. No. Oh, no. I mean, um, none of the cast can speak English. English. I think. I think we should got to just just do a no sound on the whole film because the sound guys I think are terrible. I think it should yeah, be yeah. A, not a talkie. This one. No, I think it should have cards explaining what the story yeah. is. Yeah, that's fine. That can work. I'll make that work. And um, about, tree shots um, are good, but everything else probably yeah. not worth it. A little bit of this. Uh, I'm about to prank Lewis and Richard because they're about to rap. So, 
wrapped. Oh, we're being wrapped. We're being wrapped. <laughs> we're being wrapped together. Oh. <laughs>